So hi, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Body Flow. My name is Jody Bullitt. Um, and if you're new to Body Flow, we do have a little bit of a formulaic. Hopefully, you can see me, see myself. Um, we do have more of a, a little bit more of a formulaic style yoga. We start with Tai Chi. Arms are out. Just bring your arms to center. Take a nice deep breath in. Bring your arms out and then down. So inhale, reaching your arms up. Exhale, bring your arms back to center. A few more times. So we start with Tai Chi. We move into sun salutations, standing strength, some balance, hips, abdominals, back. One more time, big breath in and out. Now hold your energy ball here. Just envision a nice big bright energy ball. And then start shifting your weight side to side and let your arms wrap. Take big breaths in, big breaths out. Let go of your shoulders. Now arms swing down. So breathing in, breathing out. Couple more times, keep it going for me. We're gonna switch to arm circles. So one arm comes out, the other arm comes out. We have an energy ball, we draw across. So one arm, the other arm, energy ball. Keep it going for me, one arm. Keep it going, I'm gonna check to see if we have anybody else admitted. Beautiful, breathing in, breathing out. Again, inhaling. Exhaling. Good, you got it. Let's go one more time. Breathing in, breathing out. Now keep your energy ball here and just play with it. Full breath in, full breath out. Keep it nice and low. Let's go two more times, keeping your energy ball low and across. Let's step in, take your energy ball, step in, tuck it over the shoulder and then out. Breathe in, tuck the energy ball and out. You got it, inhale, exhale. Let's step forward, inhale, stepping forward, back to center and out to the side. Breathing in, forward, breathing out, side. Now if you have a little balance, inhale, grasshopper, exhale. Nice deep breaths. Let's go one more. Back to our wraps. Let go of the shoulders, shifting your weight side to side. Back to our swing down. Let it go. Back to our circles. Back to our energy ball. Circle. Energy ball. So the purpose of our Tai Chi, for those of us that are new, is to really start to warm. One more. Energy ball here. Keep it low. Now, step in with your energy ball. Step out. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. We're gonna step forward, inhale, exhale forward. Back to center, to the side. Keep it going for me. Yeah. So you know the drill, you have that balance piece. Grasshopper. Let's go two more.
Last one here, please. Just use your energy ball, dig deep for four, three, two, and one. Good, bring your arms down. We're gonna move right into sun salutations. Hopefully you're nice and warm. Mountain pose, arms will reach up. Big breath in. Exhale, arms come back behind, shoulders are back and down. Take a nice deep breath into your body. Let it out. Inhale up. Bend the knees, brace your belly, forward fold. Halfway lift, big breath in, lift your chest. Shoulders are back, all the way down. Take a step back with your right leg into lunge, bending the left. Knee over ankle, or maybe arch, but in the same direction as your toes. Let's bring our knee down. Arms reach up, crescent, half crescent lunge, or low crescent lunge. Take a full breath in, spread your fingertips, draw the hips down and forward. Arms down, tuck your toes, step back, down off. Take a full breath in, wash it out. Forward to plank. First, go around to the knees. Bending elbows, lower down. Keep a full breath in. Shoulder blades come back together. Bum cheek squeeze, chest lifts. Tuck toes, lift up, press back, down dog. Keep a full breath in. Let it go. Bend the knees, step forward, right leg or left to that lunge. Belly to thigh, arm reaches up to a twist. Bring it down. Step in. Inhale, rise. That's your sequence. Let's go again. Exhale, dive. Halfway lift on your big breath in. Exhale, wash it out. Step back left. The lunge. Hold that lunge. Belly is sucked in. Knees down. Press in. Arms down. Step back, down dog. Forward to play. Bend and lower. So cobra or press strongly to up dog. Tuck toes, lift up, press back, down dog. Bend and step left. Belly to thigh, arm reaches up. Arm comes down, step together, forward fold. Let's go again. Inhale, rise. Exhale, dive. Big breath, halfway lift. All the way down. Stepping back, right. Lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, arms come down, tuck toes, step back, down dog. Forward to plank. Bend and lower. Inhale, let your heart shine. Up dog or cobra. Tuck toes, lift up, down dog. And those knees, step forward, make sure you switch sides. Belly to thigh, arm reaches high. Back down, step together. Last one, inhale, rise. Exhale, dive. Halfway lift. Wash it out, forward fold. Stepping back. Bend and lower, low crescent. Arms reach up, feeling those hips. Arms come down, step back, down dog. Take a nice deep breath here. Maybe open your mouth and let it out. Forward to plank, bellies are on. Bend and lower. Slowly. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Tuck toes, lift up, press back, down dog. Take another deep breath in. Let it go. Step forward with your knee for lunge. Last one here. Belly to thigh, arm reaches up. Make sure you switch sides. Arm comes down. Step together, forward fold. Stay here. Breathing in, I'm gonna try and breathe down just a little bit. 
Inhale. Exhale. So moving on to standing strength. Inhale halfway. So feel that spine stretching forward, long. Belly is drawn in. Down to down, uh, forward fold. Big breath in, all the way up, rise. Shoulders stay down, step back, right leg. So crescent lunge, bend the front knee. Leg is straight in the back, but you're on the ball of your foot. Heel is lifted. Yeah, nice. Arms reaching out, maybe spread your fingertips. Take a full breath into the body. Wash it out, let it go. One more, inhale. Arms reach back behind, interlace your fingers, shoulders are back and down. Yeah. Take another deep breath in. Bring your arms back up. And then transition to warrior two. I'm gonna face a different direction, but it's a really easy transition. So take some big breaths. Now have a look at your knee. Make sure outside knee is coming towards baby toe. Yeah, relax the shoulders. Let's get into it. Let's reach to extended. So reach the arm, elbow to knee, arm reaches up and or up and over. Find those spaces in your body. Take another deep breath in, back to center, warrior two, and then sun warrior or reverse. Arm comes down for support, other arm reaches up and or up and back. Two big breaths. Let it go. One more. Back to warrior two. We're gonna bring this arm down by your belly, this arm up, and we're gonna press and lean. So this is unsupported. So if that's not a thank you or no thank you for you, bring your elbow to that thigh. So breathe and press. Back to center, other direction. Press, back palm forward, forward palm up and over. Good, keep breathing, inhale, exhale, let's go again. Arms reach out, press and lean. Let's go one more, inhale, exhale. Back to center, straighten your leg, triangle, really reach. Hand comes down towards your thigh or quad, other arms spread wide. Keep going, keep breathing. So your hand could be at your quad, down by your thigh, but really spread those fingertips wide, shoulders are stacked. Let go of the side body. Take another deep breath in, back to center, warrior two. Then it's a reverse triangle. Hand to back leg, straighten your front leg. Arm reaches up and or up and over. Find those spaces in your body. Take a deep breath into those spaces. Let them go. Back to center. Let's do toes forward, hands to hips. Belly is sucked in, maybe knees are bent. Draw your torso forward. Relax the head. Arms come down, keep forward fold. This is our wide-legged forward fold. Just let go of your head. Take some nice deep breaths in. Just let it out. One more. Fingertips down, bend those knees, walk your heels, toe heel, toe heel it in. And we're gonna switch sides. So make sure you switch sides. Stepping forward with one leg, bend that back. Heel is off, so we have crescent lunge, arms reach up. So back leg could be slightly bent, could be straight, whatever feels best for you. Take a nice deep, this leg is bent a lot. Fingertips reach up and maybe sink it down. And then maybe lift your chest. Take a full big breath into your body. Let it out. One more. Arms reach back behind, interlace your fingers, shoulders are back and down, reaching those knuckles to the back heel. Two big breaths. One more. Arms reach back up. Transition into our warrior two pose. Yeah. 
Get out, face the other direction. Make sure you switch direction. <clears throat> Back leg is strong, arms are reaching. Reach, extend your warrior. Elbow to knee, arm reaches up. Or bring your arm down a little bit further towards your ankle. Whatever feels best. Back to center, warrior two, reverse. Hand comes to back leg, arm reaches up and or up and over. Awesome, take some big breaths into your body. Just let go. One more. Back to center, warrior two. And here's where we press the back arm or the front arm to the belly and the front top arm, back arm overhead. So you're making a circular motion with your arms. They're kind of forming a circle as you're breathing and leaning. Again, if that's a no thanks, bring your elbow down. Let's switch. Breathe in, breathe out, pressing. Again, unsupported, so support yourself if you need to. Let's go one more each. Inhale, exhale. Big breath in center, exhale, press. Back to center, let's move to a triangle. Straighten your leg, really reach. And then draw your arm down to either the quad or your thigh, wherever it feels best. And let go of this whole side of your body. Take a nice deep breath in, let go of your face. Let go of your, sorry, I keep having somebody come in. Big breath in the center, warrior two. And then reverse your triangle. Inhale, straighten your leg, oh, wow. arm. Okay. It's connecting to like the long breath. Breathe in. Breathe out, relax the shoulder. Back to center. Toes are forward. Let's go back to that fold. So reach your torso forward, reach your fingertips to the floor so it's a wide forward fold. Big breaths. And then walk your fingertips down even more. Just let go of your head, neck and shoulders. Enjoy this beautiful forward fold. Two more big breaths. Fingertips are down, lift your chest, and then toe heel it in to center. We're gonna move right into balance. Inhale, lift up. Awesome. Let's um let me set you up first. Having people come in, I don't know why. So we're gonna bend up front knee, arm reaches across, arm lifts back, and start to lift up your leg for balance. So either grabbing underneath or on the outside. Stay and breathe. Good job, guys. Inhale. Exhale. So what are my options here? Your options are to straighten your leg so you can grab onto the quad, your ankle, or make peace fingers with your toe and start to straighten that leg or not. Reaching back with your arm. Spine is long. Bring your knee back and lower down. Arm comes back around. Let's try that other side. Knee is bent, arm reaches across, arm reaches back. So this is a balanced twist combo. Maybe lift the knee either outside or underneath. Reach back. Again, options. Grab your ankle, toe, make peace fingers, surround the big toe, and breathe. Most importantly, breathe in, breathe out. One more. Slowly come back to center. Let's step into tree. Switch legs, come into tree. I have another person to admit, so give me your best tree. Boy, this is pretty hard doing everything. I'm glad I have my cameraman usually. <laughs> you got it, perfect. Focus and breathe. Show me your best, most beautiful tree. So like the trees outside, they're starting to bloom. Bring your arms up. Show me your branches or not. 
Awesome, breathing in, breathing out. So willow, arm comes down to the bent knee side, arm reaches up and or up and over towards that bent knee. Let's bring it back to center. Let's move into dancer. So grab the arch or ankle of that foot, squeeze your knees together, press your foot out, arm reaches, stay and breathe. I'm just gonna back my music up a little bit. I'm a little bit late here. All good. So great time to focus. If you come forward, come back to center and then really reach your arm, look up towards the sky and then start to go. Reaching that leg back, pushing your heel back, reaching your arm forward. Bring it back to center. And then let's do a standing figure four. So flex your foot, cross your ankle over the knee. Arms reach up. Start to sit down through the hips. Oh yeah. Take a nice deep breath in, find those areas. Start to let go more. That's something for you. And if this is a no thanks, Cross your legs, touch your toe down to more of an eagle pose. Arms reach forward, get into that. Get into those beautiful glutes. Arms reach down. Take another deep breath in. Let go of your minds. Let's go ahead and stand up. Let's switch sides, we started in tree. So starting in tree. Holly is having a lot of hard time getting in. <laughs> Not sure who Holly is, but she's having a hard time getting in. So let's start in tree. Focus and breathe. What does your tree look like? Really root down through the standing leg and then draw the ribs in. Arms reach up. Now visualize your tree. Maybe spread out those branches. Arm comes down to that bent knee. Other arm could reach up and over or stay where you need. We're all on different journeys. All of our trees look very different. Back to center. Let's grab that leg for dancer. I'm gonna step forward a little bit. Grab the foot, pant leg, ankle, toe, and then lift up. Belly is, um, belly is on here, chest is lifted, arm is lifted, then press the heel away. I flex, flex my foot, reach your arm out, take a nice deep breath in, and just soar, just dance. Another breath in, another breath out. Back to center. Let's do that figure four. So if that was a no thank you for your side, maybe you're just crossing and starting to sit with your legs squeezed together. Otherwise, flex your foot, let your knee come out to the side. This is a figure four step, so it might be challenging for some of us in the knee. Arms reach up, so lots of great options. Start to sink through the hips. Take some nice deep breaths. Let go of those hips. Arms reach forward. Arms reach down. Yeah. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more, please. Go ahead and stand up. Shake out those leggies. And let's make our way to our seated position. We're going to do seated position with star pose. So have a seat on your beautiful bums and then bring your soles of the feet together. Knees are wide. I love to walk my hips in to make my heels. And then I grab onto my ankles. Be careful of those beautiful toes. Spine is long. Take a nice deep breath in. And then exhale, draw your torso forward if your body allows, maybe arms come with. So just linger here. If there's a modification that you want to use, it's your workout. Continue taking deep breaths in and maybe walking your fingertips a little further and just letting your neck, head, and spine be neutral. And then if you want to tuck the chin to add a little more for the lower back, you can certainly do that. 
If it doesn't feel good, please listen to your body. Big breath in, big breath out. So yesterday I taught Joanne's power yoga and talked about honoring our bodies. So important. One more big breath in. One more big breath out. Walk yourself up. Let's spread our legs wide. So spread your legs in a V, or if that's not your choice, maybe you're in a half V with your leg bent. So chest is lifted, and then I like to wrap my legs back, my toes back, and then walk forward. So your knees could be bent a lot here, that's your thing, or start to straighten and draw your torso forward. Pause and breathe. Take some big breaths in, big breaths out. So we listen to our brains when we want food. I challenge you to listen to your brain and your body when it wants to stretch. Might not be the most opportune time, but I invite you to get into that child's pose when your body says, let's do that. Take another deep breath in, walk yourself up, and then walk yourself over to one side. Maybe your hands are surrounding the legs and one on the other side as your chest reaches, kind of the head reaches to the toes. Walk yourself up, walk yourself center again, see where you are now. Really breathing in deeply, letting go of your face, your hips, your backs. Walk back up and then on the other side, surround that other leg, torso is reaching towards that other side, crown of the head is reaching to the toes. Find those hamstrings. Find that side body in your hips. Go ahead and walk up. So speaking of child's pose, let's get into our child's pose. Toes touch, knees are wide, draw the hips back. Arms reach wide and long. Settle in. Come to all fours. Step forward with one of our legs deeply. Bend the knee forward. Hips lower down and come forward. Big breaths. Keep it going. Big breath in. Big breath out. Go ahead and draw the hips back to your heels. Straighten your front leg. So spine is long. You might be on your fingertips or you might have a block. Kind of the head is reaching. Maybe your knee is bent a lot. And as you feel your torso want to come down to that knee, allow it. One more nice deep breath in, feeling the hamstring, feeling your back. <coughs> and then allow your body to come back, bend the knees again, step forward, other leg. Draw the torso forward, hips come down and forward. Take some big breaths in. And then just let it out. One more big breath. And then draw the hips back. Maybe you're on your fingertips, front leg is extended, or could be bent. Spine is long. Breathe in. One more time, breathing in. Breathing out, awesome. All right, let's get into our plank. We're moving on to our abdominal series. So maybe start from child's pose. Toes are together, knees are wide, arms are super long, reach in. Take a full breath in. Come into your torso forward, knees are straight. So either from the knees, pelvis is forward, arms are strong. Look at your shoulders, make sure they're over wrists. Or tuck your toes and straighten your legs. Stay and breathe and plank. Big breath in, stay there, big breath out. Inhaling and exhaling. I'm gonna go sideways so you can see me. So let's go with um, opposite knee to shoulder, uh, elbow, across and down, across, down, across, down. So if you need to do it from your knees, same thing. 
Breathing in and out. Four more. Four, three, two. Last one here and one. Bend the knees a lot. We'll come to the knees. Walk yourself in slowly to standing forward fold. Let your chin go. Slow roll up. So if you need to use your hands to your body to roll up, go for it. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, tuck the chin. Bend the knees. Arms come back down. Walk it back out. So bear crawl to plank. Hold your planks. So again, from the knees or from the full body plank. Now bend your knees a little, tuck your tail. Let's walk our legs out and in. So it's out, in, out, in. Or you could point, that might be easier. Point, in, point, in. Let's go for eight, in, seven, in, six, in, five, four more. Four, three, two. Last one here. Bend the knees a lot or come to the knees. Walk yourself back. Forward your toes. Pause and forward fold. Big breath in, slow roll up. So either use your hands along the body or just roll it up. Arms reach up. Tuck the chin. Roll it back down. Back to our full plank. Or on your knees. Side plank. Turn to us. Shoulders are stacked, hips are lifted high. Lots of variations here. You can lift that top leg if you like. Nice deep breaths. You can come to the knee and lift your top leg. One more big breath. Back to full plank. Other side. Facing away or to the other side. Again, remember your variations, but keep your hips lifted high. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. One more. Back to full plank. Let's come to hands and knees and draw the hips back to child's pose. Nice job, everybody. Take a big breath here in child's pose, moving into our backs. Pilates backs. Let's go into hands and knees. So arms are strong, pressing away from the mat. Bellies are drawn in. Have a look at your knees. Make sure they're under your hips. You're nice and even. You got it. Let's draw our torso um, into cow and then cat. Breathe out. Back to neutral spine. Let your back sag. Lift your head, shoulders, and bum cheeks. And then breathe out round. Let's go one more. Inhale. Exhale. Back to center. Let's reach with your front leg and back arm. Out, thumb faces up, toes are dialed down. Take some big breaths in and out. Bring it back to center, switch sides. Front arm, back leg, press nice and long. Toes are down, thumb is up. Back to center, let's go again a little faster. Inhale, exhale, reach. Back to center. Inhale, exhale, reach. Back to center. One more each. Big breaths in, big breaths out. Last one here before we do a little switch. Reach it long. Back to center. Now go back to the other side. This time, bend that front leg. See if you can reach your back hand to ankle or maybe some variation of, maybe it's to your bum cheeks in the back. Otherwise it's a bind. So grab your toes or ankle and press and lift. So this is the no thank you for today. Just keep your leg bent and then put your hand on your bum or your back. Breathe in, breathe out. Release and lower. Let's try the other side. So arm and leg are reaching. Bend the knee. So either hand comes to your back, or if you can, grab your ankle, foot, pant leg, press and lift. Listen to your body, honor it. Release 
and lower. Switch one more time. Reach other, bend, maybe reach back to your bum, maybe grab the ankle or your pant leg, press and lift. Lower and switch. So even a variation of works, right? Lower. Bring it into child's pose. Toes together, knees wide, reach out. Lower the chest. Relax the shoulders. Full breaths. Let's walk our arms in. Let's come into camel. So knees are down, maybe tuck your toes. Knees, hips, and shoulders are stacked. Squeeze those bum cheeks together. Hands come to the back side of our bodies. Draw the shoulder blades back. We'll turn around so you can see my hands. They're either towards your bum area or the back, supporting it. Chest is lifted, shoulders are back, maybe look up. So for those of us that don't have back troubles, you might wanna lean back. If you have back troubles, just stay here. Variation, fingertips reach back to your toe. Arm reaches up, look up. Keep your bum cheeks squeezing together. Keep those beautiful breaths coming. Let's switch if you reached up. And if not, just stay here. Take a break, lean back. Breathing in, breathing out. Not an easy movement. Tuck your chin. Let's make our way down to the floor. So walk yourselves back. Draw your legs together, arms are down by your shoulders, and just take a rest. Bring your arms down by your body, rest your head, check, um, face. Take a nice deep breath in, just let it go. And then switch your cheek. So you're getting a nice stretch to the neck. Bring yourself back to center, squeeze your legs, press them down, we're moving into bow. So variations of bow, you can grab one leg with your hand, arm reaches out. Oh my gosh, do I have so much hair under my table? <laughs> or bring it to the side body, bend the knee, grab. Or for those of us that do full bow, squeeze your legs together, bend the knees, grab onto the ankles, press those heels up and breathe. Bring yourself down, relax, release, let go. Cheek is down, arms are down. Take a full, well-deserved break. Switch your cheeks. So other side bow, if you went to the side, switch sides. Grab that foot, pant leg, ankle, toe. Draw it in towards your bum. Or same thing with that leg, if you just grabbed one, reaching. Or for those of us that can grab both, breathe and press. Full breath in, full breath out. One more, please. Let yourself come down all the way. Just rest one more time. Cheek is down, body is resting. Moving into some more twists. Cheek on the other side, please. Bring your arms down towards underneath your shoulders. Draw those hips back to heels into child pose. Let me look and see what I put down. Got it. All right, back up to hands and knees. Let's step forward with the leg closest to us again. Draw the hips forward and down. Chest is lifted. Belly to thigh. Turning your torso towards that bent knee. You can tuck the toe, press strongly to that back heel, and then continue reaching up. We did this in the beginning with sun salutations. See how this feels maybe a little bit different now? Hopefully it's better. Then hug your arm with that leg. So you could be down here. Oh, sorry. Bring your arm down and then hug with the other. That makes more sense. So hug with this leg, arm, so that you're really kind of in this um, more of a kind of a prayer twist, but you're just hugging. So if that doesn't work for you, maybe you just have your hand here, right? A 
and then arm reaches. So knee is down or leg is extended. And if this is too much for you, maybe your elbow comes to knee again, right? Breathing in, breathing out. So go ahead and rise, arms reach out. So if you're here, whoops, arms reach out. Or arms reach out. Slowly make your way down. And then walk over to the other side. Knee bends, lower down, belly to thigh, arm reaches up. Remember your options, tuck your toe. Take some nice deep breaths and really spread the arms, lift the chest to nine days. Bring it down, hug with your opposite. So again, the option is here, right? Elbow to knee or hug and reach. Tuck toe, reach out nice and wide. And then straighten, arms reach. Again, you could be on your knee. Slowly come out. Let's have a seat on our bottoms. Crossing your leg over. Both bum cheeks are even. Toe is touching if your leg is crossed this far over. What are my options here? That's not an option for me. So maybe just straighten your leg and reach this leg across. So moving into twist still, still in that twisting mode. Arm reaches across, opposite arm reaches across. So either you're hugging your knee or maybe you're bringing your outside elbow to that knee. Torso is long, arm reaches back. So if you're in this position, same thing, right? Hugging, reaching, or elbow to knee is reaching. Take some deep breaths in, don't force this. <laughs> Just reach the arm back. Look back with your eye gaze. Slowly make your way around and switch. So uncross, straighten the leg, sitting tall. Or if you're in this mood or mo po pose, mode, pose, I don't know. <laughs> Thumb cheeks are down, legs are crossed. Take a nice deep breath and sit tall or move into that other Posture, arm reaches back, looking back. Stretch those eyeballs back. Slowly make your way around. Let's go back into our child's pose. We're gonna move into a very low squat. So before we do that, let's take a moment to draw the hips back to heels and just reach and sink. Take a full breath into your body. Let it go. Fingertips are down, arms are down, lift your chest, come into down dog. And then walk one leg in. So heels on the mat, toes are off, other leg is joining. So if a low squat is not your thing, Draw the hips down to about knee distance. And just sumo, or get in there. So yogi squat, Hindi squat, whatever works best for you today. Awesome. So take a nice deep breath in and let your face, shoulders, let everything melt. Awesome. One more big breath in. So option here for crow, arms come down, draw those toes inward, and then set yourself up for crow. Bend the elbows a lot, bring your knees to the elbows, and if you have a pillow, put your pillow down, maybe headstand, right? Maybe headstand is what you're gonna do today. So whatever works. Big breaths in, head is off or head is down. Hips are lifted. Nice deep breaths. One more. Slowly come out of crow. Let's come into forward fold. So legs are hip distance. Knees are bent a lot. Belly is drawn in. Head is heavy. Let's bring our arms back behind. 
and then draw the fingertips up, draw the shoulders back. If this does not feel good for you, please don't do it. Arms forward. Draw the arms back. Bring your arms back down, step back to pyramid. So leg, doesn't matter which. Steps back two feet or three feet, their hip distance. Fingertips are on either side of your foot. And if that's too low for you, bring your arms up to the shin or your quad. And then start to walk your fingertips and torso to center. So fingertips are by the heel, torso to center. Take a big breath in. Either knee is bent a lot or is straight. Walk your fingertips forward and with it, bring that back leg. So bend the back leg and squeeze your knees together. We're gonna go into a standing split. So if this again isn't your thing, you're gonna just point your leg out back or onto the floor. Otherwise, start to let your leg reach out and then reach up. Hip does come outward. So lead, breathe, keep lifting your leg. Again, if this is not your thing, there's lots of options here. Breathing in, breathing out. Should really feel this in the hamstring. And if you do standing split on a regular basis, maybe you're gonna grab on with one hand or two to that standing leg. Keep lifting that leg up. Arms come down, step your leg back and step into forward fold. So bend the knees a lot, bend the hips, let your head come heavy. Take some big breaths. Find those areas of your body that are calling out to you. And then other side, step back with your other leg, two or three feet, start to draw some weight into your back heel, fingertips walk back, hands to the shin, quad, or to the floor. One more nice deep breath in. Fingertips are forward, bend your back knee, knees are together. And either leg points out, floor, center, or start to lift it up to the sky. Keep lifting, keep breathing. Your hip does come outward, so it can't really stay square very, very well. So breathe. Again, grab that front leg if that's something you do. Should feel nice on your hamstrings, nice and intense. Bend the knee, draw the leg inward and down. We're gonna have a seat, thank goodness, right? Almost there. Nice and wide, back into our wide V. Walk those hips back, chest is lifted. Reach your arm out to your ankle and then reach down, side bend. Other arm reaches, spread your wingspan. Take a nice deep breath in. Fingertips might reach up as you bend the elbow and come to that side bend. Listen to your bodies, honor them. Back to center, other side. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, spread those arms wide. Elbow might bend, arms might reach. Back to center, let your legs come forward and then walk your hips back. So one leg is physically shorter than the other, this hip is back, and then same thing on the other side. This will help you bend more forward in a seated forward fold. Knees could be bent a lot, arms reaching out on the side of our bodies, torso is long. Full breath in, full breath out. Maybe you just bend torso forward a little bit or a lot, depending upon your hamstrings and back. Two big breaths. Slowly walk yourselves back up. Let's come into our seat. Oh, I forgot to do bridge. Forgot to, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Heels are down, walk your hips in. Walk yourself back. Let's lift our legs. So legs are lifted nice and strong. Legs are squeezing together. Press through the heels. Arms reach up. Head and shoulders reach up. Again, if it's a no thank you, keep your head and shoulders down. Go ahead and bring one leg in, let the other one leg come away. Let it hover or let it come to the floor or keep your knee bent on that side. 
Draw that leg up and switch. So breathe into the backs of the legs. Let go of the backs of the legs. Inhale, reach. Head and shoulders come down. Legs start to spread out to the sides, either supporting them by grabbing underneath or letting your arms come in to add more. And if you just want to let your arms reach out to the side, that's always an option too. So starting to come into more of a meditation. So take some deep breaths in. Bring your heels and toes together in the center of butterfly. Let your legs come down to the floor. And if this does not feel good for you, take an option. I like to reach my arms overhead, either grabbing onto the elbows or just letting my arms be. So this is a bind. And again, if it doesn't feel good for you, start to come into a different pose. We are going to come out of it. Breathe in. See how you feel as you breathe out. Maybe wiggle your body a little bit. Feel your body start to melt. Listen to what your body is saying to you. And slowly pick whatever limb is speaking to you first and extend that limb, the arm, leg. Let it come down by your side. If it's your hand, palm faces up. And then choose another limb. Either stay where you are or extend it. And then again, another limb extends or stays. Finally, you could be in corpse with your arms out, palms facing up. Some nice deep breaths into your body, fill up and empty out. <coughs> Continue filling up and emptying out. See if you can reach all the way down into your toes. Fill up into your toes, in through the body. Just like that. Go over your thoughts and your mind. Feel the heaviness of your body as it sinks downward. Some big breaths into the body. Feel your belly and chest rise. Fall. Again, belly rise, chest rise. Fall. This time, bring some movement into your fingers and toes. Just very gently and subtly. Some wrists. Some ankles. And on your next breath, draw your knees to a bend if they're not already there. Draw those knees into chest. Let's lift our legs into happy baby. So grabbing onto the ankles or arches, and just letting your spine deeply reach long.
The baby might want to rock back and forth slowly. And if you rock back and forth, bring your baby back to center. And then bring your toes together, bring your knees together and rock to where, yeah, make your way to one side, fetal position. Draw your arm to the floor to help guide yourself into seated. Drawing those hips back and evenly down, sitting in a way that feels good, crisscross, or maybe it's half lotus. And just bring your palms to center, almost like you're holding on to a cup of water. And I like to bring my thumbs together in the center to connect my brain. Just let yourself relax here. Maybe set your intention for the day. Maybe it's going to be to listen to your bodies. Let's bring our arms out nice and wide. Arms, palms facing up. Take a nice deep breath. Reach up to center and then bring your arms back down halfway. And then all the way up, sweeping overhead. Palms face together overhead. Fingertips touch. Bending the elbows. Draw your arms down to the heart. Take a nice deep breath in. And settle in. And one more big breath. Bringing your thumb knuckles to your third eye. Bowing in respect of all of the people that came today. Thank you so much, everybody. Nice to see some old friends, some new friends. Namaste again. My name's Jody. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much, everybody. Let's see if I can take you off the mute. <coughs> Bye, Jody. Thank you. Thank you, Jody. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye, Jody. Bye. Bye. See you next time. Bye, Diane. Bye, Bye Lisa. Bye, Kristen. Bye, Denise. Bye, Elaine. Bye, Bye Stan.